Um, I just wanted to come on here real quick um, and spread a message. I actually got confirmation to release uh, this. <clears throat> um, um, let me start with... Um, I went to... Uh, God showed me um, a different dimension. Um, just making this quick. Um, but it was a dimension... In which um, artificial intelligence is God. <clears throat> I've actually sort of like the Matrix, but um, it looked like a utopia. Once again, another <laughs> again with utopia. Um, but it it had uh, what was it? It was very polluted. Uh, the water was polluted. And the buildings had rust on them. And I, I'm trying to remember this stuff. And um, artificial intelligence had a voice. Um, it had a female voice. You know, sort of like the artificial intelligence th they're building here. Which has a female voice. Funny how that works. Um, if you know the whole Adam and Eve thing. Um, but that happened. And uh, I knew I was in a different dimension when I heard God's voice. And God, um, I was alive in this dimension. Um, uh, <laughs> um, a pun on the words, I was. Um, um, so I was between the ages of 14 and 16 years old. And I was running. I was a kid. And there were two people um, beside me. And there's uh, one guy behind me. And they are all males. And we were running from something. And uh, I'll do another video explaining, like, uh, just the basics of, like, uh, parallel universes and dimensions and all that other stuff. But in this dimension, I had no, I had no arms. I had uh, basically um, robotic arms. Not in a, 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 a transhuman term, but uh, um, how they have... Um, they have uh, stuff for amputees for people who who lose their arms and stuff, and um, so I was running, and we were running from something. And God told me in that dream while we were running, because uh, I questioned him and I said, you know, why do I have no, why don't I have any arms? And he said that in that dimension I got in a car accident, and so we're running, and I'm a kid by the way, and we're running and we're trying to escape to some cubicle transport that I'm not going to even sit here and try and describe and I died um so I want to sit here and say that um I don't know why God showed me that but it's probably the way things are going with artificial intelligence I have a video on dreams um maybe it has something to do with the shift change I don't know um but in that world I died I actually saw myself die um, and the people that were with me, um, they escaped, um, if I remember that correctly, and the artificial intelligence, since it was a female and what it looked like, it looked like the, um, the demon from, from Stranger Things, where, um, its shadow is like, where it's, where it's, hand, where, it, if you watch Stranger Things, and Stranger Things, they uh, in about the second or third season, it had they have it um, at the end of every episode where the where the silhouette of the demon is <clears throat> as the long arms and the elongated face um, hovering over the city or whatever the case is, and it was similar to that. And basically, that's just uh, I don't know if that's a literal term or that's just a metaphor for basically that's how. Um, powerful artificial intelligence is and that's a world where artificial intelligence is actually um dominant and it controls everything and since and i talked about how me and a group of kids were running we basically were running from artificial intelligence robot police officers in which case what's going on now they have robots um uh who is it Je is it jeff bezos or elon musk it was elon musk um he's now working on robots replacing workers in which this stuff is already done they're just showing people just <laughs> but that's another story um so there's that um then there's um 
also uh, uh, the shift change, in which case I had one dream where, um, well, today, I'll start with today. Then I had another one a couple of weeks ago. Um, uh, today, um, basically, no, it was a couple of days ago. Today, basically, um, I had a dream when I went to sleep and God keep, keeps telling me this, that you will go to sleep one day and you will wake up in a new place and you'll be, uh, basically, you, you, you'll look different, you'll feel different and everything around you will change. And so I had a dream that basically I was asleep and I was in the studio and in the studio, um, I was looking at down at the floor and there, and there's a, um, grass was growing, uh, green pastures basically, um, which is a sign of God's promise. Um, I was walking and then all of a sudden, um, um, I see my family and, um, they're happy. They're sitting at the, they're sitting at the table and we're all, um, happy. We have no financial problems. We're stress-free. We have no troubles. We're basically, um, free, which is in the, I have previous videos on the shift change and how like I'm supposed to be wealthy and all this other stuff. Um, and literally that was pretty much it basically. And the dream before that, um, um, I had a dream. I'm leaving details out in this dream. I had a dream where basically I was goofing around, playing pranks. I was performing in the middle of the street. I had a microphone in my hand. I was surrounded by people. And um, I saw myself um, talking to somebody. Um, and I could just... I, it was something weird to explain, but I knew that... Um, um, I didn't have this life before. I didn't have this type of life before. And, um, moral of the story is, is that, um, my dream basically ended and it wasn't just some random dream, even though I'm leaving details out. Um, basically, um, I was enjoying myself. I was happy, carefree. Um, you know, everything was fine. Everything was normal. And basically, and in that dream, um, God showed me basically, um, I could smell something after, um, in my dream and, um, after my dream ended. And I knew that this wasn't just, it was from God because it wasn't something that just randomly happened. And I also want to emphasize on uh, my dream, on my open vision that I, uh, open vision from God that I had. And, um, that, I hear sound, I heard sound when, um, I had that, um, vision from God and that's not something that I get a lot. I, I didn't, I, I had, I talked about it, how I had that type of dream, not dream, but, uh, vision when my friend was going through stuff with his ex and that's a real thing. Um, but this time, uh, with the shift change dream and the open, uh, the shift change dream, my bad, I'm everywhere with the shift change dream, basically, um, it was real. The, I've never had a dream in which I've smelt something before, and it was thoroughly real. So, um, I just wanted to say that. Come on here and post that. Um, also, um, there actually is a dimension where cartoons uh, are real, um, cartoon characters. Um, I actually had a dream. Well, a dream. I literally went to sleep one day and got excuse me, and God keeps telling me this, you will go to sleep one day, and you will be somewhere new, and I had a dream, and which, um, I fell asleep, and I looked at my hand, and I turned into a literal cartoon character, uh, which explains, uh, a lot of things, um, but that's personal, um, so that, and, um, that's just pretty much it, that I want to sit here and say, um, and, uh, as far as everything that's going on, and I know I made a video on giants, um, I had a, this always happens to me, um, in terms of giants, I had a dream where, um, uh, where there was a cult of people that worshipped, um, they were like these native people that worship these giants or whatever the case is, and these giants looked like, orangutan gorillas but they were cannibals they ate people like which is weird um but it's that's just confirmation for the uh of um what i said um before um 
So that and what else is there? And in terms of getting medicated, it ain't worth it. In it, it, um, terms of um, being medicated, uh, it's totally not worth it. It's not worth your soul. And if you know anybody, whether it's a family member, friend, a loved one, or your soulmate, the person you're sleeping with, or whatever the case is, when even though I have a video of me talking out my mind and I'm frustrated, I want to lit I want to sit here. I meant what I said when in terms of war, um, that if this was the Holocaust or if this was the rape of Nanking or uh, Unit 731 or the Armenian genocide um, or slavery, really. Um, the people you love that are close to you would trade you in uh, without hesitation. Um, and this is serious. So, um, so that, and don't, don't be distraught. Don't be disappointed. Don't cry. Don't be in tears because when you think you know someone, you actually don't. Um, honestly, I don't know what to say except trust God. Um, as far as um, what God has up his sleeve, I fully don't even know what's going to happen. I'm actually lost at what is going on because, you know, obviously these people, well, these devils want to do one thing and God wants to do another. So whenever that happens, it'll be totally unexpected. Um, but I can sit here and say that, you know, um, praise God, worship God and don't and, and don't put fear over God which is basically putting the devil over God, um, even though fear is a healthy thing. Um, when you have too much fear, it is basically putting the devil over God. Um, so I want to sit here, come on, say these things. Um, as far as um, if you know anybody that's medicated, basically, I don't even know what's going to happen during the shift change of whether you might know people or whatever the case is, I don't know, but I can sit here and tell you that that person has sold their soul. They're hopeless. And I um, also said that there's a 0.1%, a very small chance that uh, for people, because there are people that are rigging these, uh, these, uh, these medicines with uh, salt water or whatever the case is and sparing people. But, um, Odds of that happening are one out of a billion, but um, that person has sold their soul, basically. And if you are one of those people, you do know somebody or whatever the case is for anybody that's out there, God must be giving you a second chance. Um, so um, I also want to sit here and say that these people are getting medicated, signing up for this stuff. I also want to sit here and say that even if God did, did give them a second chance, these people would still do what they've done because it's not just uh, um, when it comes to, to the mark of the beast. It's not just a whole it, it's not just it's not a mental thing. It's also a spiritual thing. People that there are people that are literally willing to die for this corrupt system that exists. People that know um, people that know good in the depths of their mind that um, the government doesn't care about them, but they're willing to fight for something, even though they know that at the end of the road, there's nothing but nothing there. Um, I guess you could equate it to slavery, um, really. Um, so just that, and also um, despite the shift change and all this other stuff, you also really do need to be prepared for what is going on. Um, so that's pretty much it. And, uh, and also another thing, uh, just to put this out there, this isn't directed towards anyone. You need to be more, uh, you need to focus on who you are as a person and your relationship with God instead of somebody else's relationship, because this isn't the time to be, um, to be concerned about what's going on in another person's life, even though every, the world gradually is just going downhill. Um, so, um, that's what I want to say, um, and, you know, just don't know what to say, to be honest. So, um, that, and, um, just go to God, and God is always listening, God hears you, God isn't ignoring you. So, um, just wanted to say that, come on here, make these videos, and, um, that's pretty much it, so... I'm going to probably, as far as videos and stuff go, um, 
I have no idea. Uh, my schedule. I start where I start my second job uh, tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. I have orientation uh, tomorrow, but I have no idea how this is going to work out. Even though I'm off like three days a week, but um. So um. Yeah, that and um. That's all I want to sit here and say. Um. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And um, don't feed into this nonsense. Don't feed into this fear. If you know somebody that's gotten medicated, just let them go. Um, what else is there? And don't get your hopes up in terms of entertainment. A lot of this entertainment that they're coming out with that's uh, coming out uh, a year from now or two years from now. It's <laughs> literally not even the end of the year and the world is gradually going downhill. So... Um, don't uh don't pay attention to that stuff so um yeah i just want to sit here and say that i hope you guys have a blessed day and uh you guys are doing well